Hello, Namaste, and welcome in the series of cyber security. This side is Meena, and today I will discuss about how does DDoS attacks are evolving during the coronavirus. Nowadays, a complete world in panic, and uh, if we just hear some news like re related to coronavirus, there can be some updates uh, uh, some vaccination or uh, infections uh, increasing in our uh, areas uh, or some kind of uh, uh, any information that's related to coronavirus we are just prompt to click on those uh, um, kind of emails or kind of uh, documents what we are receiving to open it okay and this is the exact thing hackers are doing and they want to uh, harvest that panic situation for their business they are sending so many uh, uh, cyber attacks and just uh, uh, creating a kind of trap for the users or the, for the victim to click on those links and they are making their uh, complete army of the boards and those boards they can use or they are using for distributed denial of service attack okay so what uh, what the ways they are using to evolve it and how it's evolving during this coronavirus let's see discuss about it so any news that's related to corona we will just prompt to click on it and we are giving a chance to the cyber cr criminals to perform the attacks okay and the ddos attacks can be three types basically first of all volume based whatever the zombies or we can say bots the infected devices they have infected through the some uh, malicious code okay so they are having uh, for example here is the attacker okay and now attacker is controlling all the infected devices and can give a command from uh, command and control from remotely and can perform yes send this traffic uh, send this kind of traffic uh, to the specific server or the specific ip addresses they can perform the ddos attack okay so volume based attack means in the big amount of uh, uh, we can say data they will send to the specific uh, network or on the specific server services uh, uh, or the infrastructures they can send to that okay so they, they will just consume the network bandwidth and that's make unavailable the resources to the legitimate user okay for example here is the legitimate client when he is or he or she is trying to access the server it's unavailable okay and another is protocol based attack they will just target them smash uh, uh, specific resources on the base of the protocol okay so they will uh, target the specific protocol and then send the attack to uh, on the particular server or the particular infrastructure clear and the application based attack it is complicated and very sophisticated kind of attack where the hackers are uh, putting their head onto the so some specific application or say we can say on the web applications okay so they just perform lot of uh, uh, they just send lot of traffic on the particular server and make unavailable to the legitimate user okay and they are using the techniques new techniques or even they are using uh, the previous vulnerabilities might be somebody hasn't uh, update their uh, devices and still the vulnerability exists on their system and when they will send any kind of uh, information uh, or any kind of mal malicious traffic uh, user when we will click the system will be get infected and that will be the part of their uh, zombies network or the botnet and they will perform the attack okay so uh, these are the different type of ddos attack and they are evolving during uh, with the time and taking the advantage of the coronavirus uh, time period okay 
follow me on the cyber security prism and get the notification for the next interesting and informative session share that session with your friends and group members so that they will be able to understand uh, uh, how that the hackers are using uh, uh, different different methods to uh, make fools of the user to just uh, prompt them to click on the malicious kind of traffic and then be part of their uh, zombie network okay so that uh, if you will share that session with them they would be able to understand how the hackers are using different techniques and in the next session i will discuss about what are the common web application security vulnerabilities namaste see you in the next session